In the autumn, honey buzzards leave the UK and migrate south to their wintering grounds in southern Africa, leaving our resident common buzzards behind. Rough leg buzzard is the northern counterpart of common buzzard and breeds in Scandinavia and northern Russia. The entire population is migratory, wintering in central and eastern Europe. However, every year a handful of birds appear in the UK, usually along the east coast. Numbers do vary each year, and on very rare occasions a hundred or more individuals can turn up, but in most years it is just a handful. Separating rough leg buzzard from common buzzard can be a real challenge, compounded by the fact that migrant individual common buzzards also arrive from Scandinavia and Central Europe, and these can often be more variably coloured than our familiar resident birds. Luckily there are a number of clues in both markings and jizz that can help to identify odd-looking buzzards when encountered during the winter months. Rough leg buzzard is slightly larger than buzzard, but also has proportionally longer wings and tail, giving a more elegant and less stocky and dumpy appearance, either perched or in flight. The majority of the rough leg buzzards that turn up in the UK are juveniles, and thankfully these are easiest to identify. If the undersides of rough leg buzzard are seen well, perched or in flight, most birds have a distinctive dark belly patch, contrasting with a pale head and chest and pale rear end. This feature is shared by virtually all juveniles and almost all adult females as well, and is a key feature. In flight, rough leg buzzard appears longer winged and more elegant than common buzzard, leading to a completely different jizz. At first sight, the birds can appear like a giant harrier, especially as they often hunt by quartering areas of open ground, just like harriers do. In flight, that dark belly patch is clearly visible, as is another distinctive feature, a white-based tail. Visible from above or below, this is most striking from the upper side of the bird. Many birds give the impression of a white tail with a dark trailing band, and, combined with an obvious pale panel on the upper primaries of the juveniles and longer wings than buzzard, this can even lead to young rough leg buzzards being incorrectly identified as a juvenile golden eagle when seen distantly. As well as appearing harrier-like in flight, rough leg buzzards have a different jizz to buzzard in active flight. Birds soar with raised wings, similar to buzzard, but have distinctly kinked wings, the inner part raised but the outer half flat. Wing beats are deeper and appear more rowing and active than buzzard as well. Rough leg buzzards are inveterate hoverers. Common buzzard are sometimes seen hovering over high ground or in strong winds, but rough leg buzzard use hovering as a frequent hunting technique over any ground in any weather. When perched, rough leg buzzard can appear very similar to buzzard, especially if the markings are not clearly visible. But the main structural difference is that the rough leg buzzard tail is significantly longer than the wingtips. On buzzard, the tail and wingtips are level. Like common buzzard, rough legs habitually sit on posts and telegraph poles. Once you're familiar with the key features of rough leg buzzard, the main confusion will be with individual pale common buzzards, and some juvenile buzzards from Central and Northern Europe can be strikingly pale, almost appearing white. In this case, however, the dark belly is missing, and, characteristically, the dark carpal patch on the underside of the wing is usually reduced to a small C-shape, whereas rough legs have large, square, obvious carpal patches. Again, the tail pattern is critical, with rough leg buzzard being dark-tipped white, and pale common buzzards having a barred tail with infrequently a white tail base. Occasional adult male rough legs can be encountered, and these are the most difficult to identify. The jizz in flight and longer tail when perched will help, as will the white-based tail in flight, but without prolonged good views and familiarity with both species, it is possible that such a bird will be written off as a slightly odd buzzard. Unusual looking buzzards on the east in winter are always worth a second look, but don't forget that they are just as likely to be unusually coloured common buzzards. To find out more about identifying common buzzard, see our other ID video on the summer buzzards.